Thanks for joining me today. So we are going to get started on doing a fun game, making some words today. Okay, so what I need from you first is to make sure that you have your thinking cap on and tie it real tight and make sure you have your listening ears ready. Today I put in some earrings. So every time when you see me do this or you notice my earrings, I want you to make sure that you're answering any questions that I might ask or you're giving me a sentence or telling me something about a word. I'll ask you lots of questions and I'll ask you for sounds and every time you hear me ask something I want you to do your best to answer back okay great I know you can do this now we are gonna get started and the words we're gonna be making today are gonna go with this story called the big pig and we'll be reading that later but I want you to know that all the hard work you're doing today is really gonna pay off when we get ready to read our book. Okay? All right. Let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to say the word sit. What does sit mean? Could you even give me a sentence with the word sit? Or maybe you could show me how to sit. I'll show you what I'm going to do for sit. So if I said what does sit mean or how do you sit, I would stand up first and then I would sit in my chair. Stand up, sit down. Can you do that? Let's try once more. Ready? I'm going to stand up and now I'm going to sit on the chair. Great job. So our first word is sit. I just will sit down. I want you to tell me the first sound you hear when I say sit, sit. What is the first sound you heard? Sit. Great job. If you said s is the first sound, you were right. Now, I want you to point to the sound that makes the s. Great job. Did you point to this sound? If you did, you were right. So we're going to take that sound and we're going to say the sound as we pull it down. Ready? S. Great job. S is the first sound we hear in sit. Now, let's say the word again. Sit. Sit. What was the next sound you heard when we said sit? Great job. If you said I, you were right. The next sound in sit is I. Let's see if you can find that sound now. Point to the sound that says I. Great job. If you said this, you were right. Let's say the sound as we pull it down. Ready? I. Did you say the sound? Good job. Now, we want to hear the last sound in the word sit. Sit. What's the last sound you hear when we say sit? Great job. T is the last sound in sit. So we're going to look for that sound. And you know what to do. Say the sound. Say it for me as we pull it down. Good. If you said t, you were right. So let's check the sounds and then we're going to blend them. Ready? S, I, T. And we're going to blend them together fast and say the word. Sit. Let's check and blend once more. Ready? We'll do it together. S, I, T. Sit. Great job. You did fantastic. Now, we're going to do another word. So, the next word we're going to do is the word hat. Do you know what a hat is? Hmm. I wonder if you have a hat at your house. 
or in your bedroom or in a closet maybe hmm can you use hat in a sentence for me good job I'm gonna show you the hats I have around my house I have a lot of hats so one kind of hat I have is this my boys like to wear this hat they just wear it when it's cold and they even wear it when it's hot so this is one kind of hat like a sock hat some people call it another funny hat I wear in the winter when it's really cold is this hat so if I'm going outside and I want to work in the yard and it's really cold I put on this funny hat do you see it it keeps me really warm and it keeps my ears warm so it clips down here and that's my hat <laughs> that's my hat now the last hat my children wear a lot is a hat like this or some people call it a cap do you have a cap like this so our word is hat hat now we're gonna make the word hat are you ready what is the first sound you hear in hat hat great job if you said you were right can you find the sound point to it great if you said this makes the sound you were right let's pull it down and say it ready great job now what's the next sound when we say hat hat what's that next sound hat did you say ah you were right if you said ah let's look for that sound do you see it can you point to it for me if you said this says ah you were right so let's say the sound as we pull it down. Ready? Are you saying it? Ah, uh, great job. I wanted to hear you say it all by yourself. So now we need to hear the last sound. We've got hat. What's the last sound in hat? Did you say t? If you said t, you were right. Good job. Now, find that, say it, and let's pull it down. Ready? Did you say t? The sound is t. Very good. Now, I want you to check the sounds with me. Are you ready? Say the sounds for me. I'll try. <sighs> ah. Now, let's blend the whole word. Ready? We'll do it together. Hat. Now you do it. Good job. The word is hat. I have a hat on my head. Great. Did you think of where you might have a hat in your house? You could always go find one later today. Now, the last word we're going to do, hmm, I think you'll like this, and I bet you don't have this around your house. The last word is pig. Do you have a pig in your house or outside of your house? What is a pig? Mm, good job. So I don't have a pig in my house or outside my house. If I lived on a farm, there might be a pig. So I'm gonna show you some pictures. Here's a pig. That's a cute pig. Most pigs will not have a little flower on their back but pigs will say oink oink and this says oink oink and that's the sound a pig makes and they have this little wiggly tail in the back here's another picture of a pig this pig has been in the mud you can see some of the dark mud on his belly and that's what pigs like to lay in the mud and to keep nice and cool so that's a pig now let's say the word pig once more pig and what was the first sound we heard when we said pig? Pig. What's that first sound? 
Great job. If you said p, you were right. Let's find that sound. Point to it for me. Good job. If you pointed to this, you were right. That says p. So let's say it as we pull it down. Ready? Go ahead. Did you say p? That's our first sound. Pig. Now, what's the next sound you hear in pig? Pig. goes right there. Pig. If you said eh, you were right. Eh is the next sound. Now I want you to see if you can find that sound. Good job. Did you say this? Is the eh sound? If you did, you were right. Let's say it as we pull it down. Ready? Eh. Awesome job. Now, what's the last sound when we say pig? Pig. Great job. If you said g, you were right. G is the last sound in pig. Now, let's bring it down. Ready? Say it for me. Good job. If you said g, you were right. Now, you know what to do. We're going to check each sound. I want you to do it all by yourself. Ready? Check the sounds. Great. And now I want you to blend the whole word. Ready? The word is awesome. Now I'm going to try it. Let's see if I do it just like you did. P -i -g P-I-G-Pig. Did you do that? Great job. Great job today, guys. So you read you made and read three words. The first word we did was sit. I will sit down. The next word we made was hat. I have a hat. And the last word we did just now was pig. This is a pig with mud on his belly. Pig. Okay, you guys did awesome. And all that work with words is really going to help when we read the big pig. And there's another picture of a pig. I love that picture. Pig. So I will see you again, and we will keep working on words so that we can read our book, The Big Pig. Thanks for joining me today. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.